When you first arrive at Sign Studio, you'll be asked to name your sign. Enter a name and click OK. Click on the black sign button to the left. Find the sign you're going to be working with. Click on the sign and then click Select. To zoom into your sign, click the menu next to the magnifying glass. You're given many options on where to zoom, including fit the canvas and different percentages. Next, click Step 2 Graphics. Go to Photo and browse through the categories we have for you. When you find a category that interests you, click on it and all the pictures in that category will appear to your right. When you find the image you want, click on the image and then click select to be brought back to the sign. Click on the image here to bring up a blue box around it. This blue box means you can move it and scale it. You'll notice that as much as you scale it, the image will never stretch or get distorted. When you find a good place for your first image, you can go ahead and add a second one. Click another category, select another image, and click select again. Click on this new image to be able to move and scale this one. You'll notice that this image is completely covering the first one. That's because any time you bring in a new image, it will always be on top. Luckily, there's a button in the lower left that will bring this photo down. Now let's make the background lighter by changing the transparency. Select the background, and then select the transparency menu. You can either use percentages provided or use the slider. Now let's add text. Click Step 3 Text and click the Add Text button. Double click on the text, select it, and then type your own text in. Just like with images, you can scale the text and move it, but with text you can actually stretch it to make it longer or taller. On the left you'll find options to make it bold, italicize it, or choose different fonts. There are two ways you can change the color. You can either select a color from the color palette below, or you can choose the box next to the fill bucket and select a more custom color. Once you have text, you can go back to the graphics layer at any time to move your images around in case they get in the way of your text. Then you can go back to the text layer and add more text. This time we'll add a stroke. In the bottom options, you can use the arrows provided to turn up or down the stroke width, or you can enter in your own number. Even decimals will work. To change the color of the stroke, select the box next to the stroke width and choose your own color, or shift and click one of the palette colors.
Just like with images, you can go back to your previous text and rescale it or place it somewhere else. And remember, you can go between the different steps as many times as you need. Once you're happy with the way your sign looks, you can click Export and save your sign to your computer. Now you can open it and look at the sign that you created. 